My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. Now before we get into the video, I do want to say really quickly, if you guys have not already entered my giveaway, July is right around the corner, Madden 20 is right around the corner, I am doing a Madden 20 Ultimate Superstar Edition giveaway, I will be picking the winner on July 21st, the link will be at the top of the description, it's for Xbox, PS4, or of course PC. And it doesn't matter if you guys don't want to actually get the game, like if you already have the game pre-ordered and you don't want to cancel your pre-order, I can literally just give you a $100 gift card for whatever console you guys are on. So make sure you guys want to enter the giveaway. Link is in the description. Can't hurt to go ahead and enter. Let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today, we have the Ultimate Legends that are going to be coming out tomorrow. And I do believe this is the second to last set of Ultimate Legends. I believe the last Ultimate Legend drop is going to be next Saturday. And of course, if you guys have not seen my video, I did do a video earlier today going over the new ratings change for Madden 20 as well as some rookie premiere info. So if you have not already seen that, they actually revealed one rookie premiere player as well in that blog. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out. Rookie premiere will be coming out Monday. And of course, tomorrow we have these UL. So let's start off first. My God, this card is bad. Teddy Bruschi, they did this man so bad, they did him as bad as Bobby Bell. I honestly feel like he might even be worse than Bobby Bell. He is a 99 middle linebacker with 98 tackle, 99 play rec, 92 hit power, 93 block shed, and a 92 zone. Then you go, okay, well maybe he's got some speed. No. He's got 89 speed with 91 acceleration, 88 strength. That is awful. This Teddy Bruschi card is just, it's literally garbage. I'm not going to be completely honest with you guys. This card is really, really bad. I feel bad for you Patriots fans who have been waiting for a new Teddy card because this is a 99 with 199 overall stat on it, and that's just play rec. That is a god-awful card. Now, if you want to take a look at someone else, I mean, Ray Lewis is, of course, a limited time card. You can pick him up with training points if you want to power him up. He at least has 90 speed. This is a 99 overall card, 99 hit power, 99 play rec, 98 block shit, 99 pursuit, 99 tackling, 99 awareness. That's a 99 overall card, 90 speed, 94 excel, 95 strength, 82 jumping. If you guys watch the pack play series, you guys know he still makes plays. He's got pretty solid zone coverage, 86. Maybe Teddy will have higher zone coverage than that. I mean, 86, what is Teddy's zone? Teddy has a 92 zone. So it's a little bit better zone coverage, but... I Literally, guys, this is a this is a bad card. Also, I would rather have Tremaine Edmonds. I feel like he's a much better middle linebacker. I mean, he's also got 91 finesse moves to get a little pass rush in there, but he's got 93 speed, 93 excel, so you got a lot better speed. And again, versus the run, 99 block shit, 99 hit power, 99 pursuit, 99 tackling, and he's got 89 zone coverage with an 83 man. You can easily get that to above 90, and this card is only 220,000 coins. So, we have uh, definitely found out that that card is not worth it. Teddy Bruschi, they definitely messed you up. Now, the other set ultimate legend for tomorrow is going to be Kevin Mawai. He has 97 strength, 98 awareness, 99 pass blocking, 98 pass block power, 99 pass block finesse, 96 run block, 96 run block power, and a 98 run block finesse. Now, I believe he played for the Jets, the Seahawks, and the Titans, I think, were the three teams he played for. So, at least for three theme teams, it's going to be working pretty well. And also, I'll tell you guys this. With the Rookie Premiere promo, I don't even think I noticed this when I went over the video, but I've been seeing a lot of comments about it. Supposedly, the Rookie Premiere sets, when you do them, the players are actually NAT. So you can't sell them once you do a set. So say a, a set for a Rookie Premiere costs like 200,000 coins to do, then you're just going to get the 99 overall Rookie Premiere and you can't sell it back. So you're just going to be straight up spending 200k. You can't make any of those coins back, it looks like, unfortunately. Uh, but with Kevin Mawai here, I mean, it, it's a center. Basically, as far as it's going to go, it's a solid center. For 108K, you could rather get Rodney Hudson, who does have 66 speed, 84 acceleration with a 95 strength. Uh, pretty similar when it comes to blocking. I mean, 95 run block isn't as good. 95 run block power, 95 run block finesse. He does have 97 pass block, though, with a 98 pass block power. 96 pass block finesse with a 99 lead block. And also, 
a 99 impact block. So not as good as Kevin Mawai. And then the other 99 overall center that we have in the game currently is David Andrews, who does have pretty solid speed again at 73 with an 89 acceleration and his blocking stats are 99 run block 98 pass block with a 98 lead block 96 impact block obviously we don't know kevin wise yet 99 run block power 99 run block finesse and a 97 pass block power with a 99 pass block finesse but david andrews only has 91 strength compared to kevin who has 97 and then basically 99 everything for the pass block but then he has 96 when it comes to run block so personal opinion Depending on the speed, might rather go with David Andrews to get that run block a little bit up. Then, of course, you know, you can always get uh, whatever chemistry you need to get the run up on this Kevin Mawai. So then his run block's higher, and then the strength is already guaranteed to be higher. And as long as the speed is relatively close or even possibly better, same with lead block and impact block, maybe you would rather have this Kevin Mawai. And the limited time card for this weekend is going to be Richard LeBeau. I'm not about to say his first name because... You know what? If I even say the word, I feel like YouTube will do it to this video. You guys know what I'm talking about. 95 speed though, 94 acceleration, with a 93 agility, 92 jumping, and a 99 play rack. He's got 99 man, 95 zone, and a 95 press. So it's a solid card, but what is up with that picture? <laughs> like, I, I haven't seen a picture, actually. I haven't seen a player like that. I know that his old card, his legend card, was also kind of a weirder picture i guess for the card art but that is just uh that's a close-up like you just took a close-up picture of, of lebeau there now if you want to get a different quarterback though and of course it's gonna be a lot cheaper because neither of these two cards are limited time cards jair alexander has 98 speed with 98 acceleration and a 99 agility 99 man 97 zone and a 93 press now jair only has 52 blockchain and a 69 hit power i'm not sure what uh lebeau's will actually be but jair alexander also has an 82 catching and when it comes to traits clutch is no high motor is no he doesn't have strip ball but he does have play ball in the air aggressive he doesn't have big hitter so play ball in the air aggressive is nice to have because that means they'll go for the interceptions more and of course with kyle fuller as well He's only 123K. He's got 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 94 agility, 94 jumping, 97 play rank, 99 man, and a 97 zone coverage with 99 press. I still love this Kyle Fuller card. Like, he's super underrated, in my opinion. 54 block chip, but a crazy good 88 hit power. And when it comes to his stats or his traits, he does have high motor, he has strip ball, and he plays the ball in the air aggressive. So, again, a really really good cornerback with pretty solid traits so i think it's actually his power item that happens to have like the close-up face pick because here's his 94 overall i'm not sure why they didn't just go with a picture like this for his ultimate legend as well but as you guys can see lebeau did have 63 block shed and a 74 hit power so i mean based off the rest of the upgrades that he get going from 91 speed up to 95 99 man 95 zone coverage from a 94 man in a 90 zone i could see his block shed going up probably about five or four so he might be looking at 67 68 block shed at best maybe 78 hit power for lebeau and when it comes to his traits he is high motor wow he's actually got really good traits he's got big hitter strip ball play ball and air aggressive and he also has high motor that's pretty dang good. I, I gotta say that is pretty dang good. So LeBeau, pretty solid card and also very good traits. So maybe this limited time LeBeau is actually not gonna be too bad of a card. He's also six foot one, but there are gonna be a lot cheaper items out there, especially if you don't wanna go ahead and power this LeBeau, which you have to buy his 94 overall legend. Probably not very expensive, but I'm sure at this point of the game, you guys probably have your team already set up and you probably have all the cornerbacks on your team that you're gonna wanna use. With that being said, though, guys, these are the three Ultimate Legend cards coming tomorrow. We have LeBeau, Teddy Bruschi, which you should completely just never go for unless you're running, like, a Pats-themed team because this card is bad. 89 speed, 91... This is, like, probably Bobby Belbat. This is Bobby Belbat. He has 199 overall stat on him. And also, the other limited time card is Kevin... Or not limited time, but the other set card is Kevin Mowai, which is actually a pretty solid card. And uh, it looks like over on Twitter, basically everyone's saying that these other two cards are not worth it, and only Kevin Mowai is really worth it. In my opinion, Kevin Mowai and LeBeau actually has some pretty solid traits. It just depends on, really, if you want to wait a week and then pick it up, which, obviously, next 
week is the last Ultimate Legend drop, so hopefully they can end it off with some good jewels. Madden 20 is right around the corner. There's also going to be revealing, I think, overalls of certain positions starting this upcoming week. I think it's going to be for, like, Connected Franchise and uh, the head-to-head -head mode for, like, the final overall ratings. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.